Tyson. We got these little trainers. How cute are they? They're so small. I can't wait to see that all glow in the dark. It's very pretty. And it's kind of embossed into the mug. They're probably not the best quality water guns, but for what we're going to be doing, just like running around in the back garden, it's going to be cool. And there are four of them, four of us, so it's perfect. This is Jen, ASMR, unboxing. Subscribe before you fall asleep. Hi there. This evening, actually this afternoon, <laughs> I have a little casual haul for you. Um, we just went out yesterday and got a few things for the summer, just to add to our collection of outdoor fun games and stuff like that, um, for the kids, for us too, but mostly for the kids. So we went to two shops. We went to Decathlon, which is like a sporting goods, um, you can get sports clothes, shoes, bicycles, hunting gear, things, like everything, basically, like an outdoor kind of shop. And then Jiffy, which is kind of like a discount kind of everything shop too, but like more like home decor, and toys and that sort of thing. Mostly home related stuff. So I'm just gonna go through it. I don't know if there's gonna be any kind of order. Um, and Actually, um, my nails are pretty short at the moment because I'm filming some Lego videos. So the tapping is not great and um, so I decided to put the mic towards me. You will still hear the sounds of what's going on in front, like if there is any tapping. Um, but my voice will probably be the, the loudest. So let's take out the first thing. It's just one bag. first thing I got in Decathlon, so the, the sports good place, is a little cap for my son. And it's just like very simple little blue cap and it is, I think it's a larger size than his size. Like for older, he's two years old, but he needs like three to four years. For that it's junior one size so yeah it's like the size above the one he should have so yeah it has a little velcro at the back which will probably have to be pretty tight at first but yeah so I think I got this for about four euros fifty five euros something like that outdoor explorer Mont Blanc Valley Quechua so Quechua is like the um, the brand from Decathlon. It's usually pretty good. And it's very light material and the cap peak is very thick actually. For a second I thought there were two. <laughs> so yeah, so that would be good for him just like on any given sunny day. And then I got him a second one too. Here we go. So also blue, but a very light blue. So it's basically the same kind of style with the cap front, but this one is a little different because it has a little cover for the back of his neck, which I really think is cool. Um, it's 50 plus, so yeah, so like um, like protection, sun protection. It's like 50, like um. Yeah, so no sun's getting through that, so that's cool. I think this is three to four, size three to four years. Yeah, three to four years, a UV protection, 50 plus. And I think that for the very sunny days, this one will be definitely better. And then for the just normal days, the bit of sun, this one will be fine. He actually had the exact same hat in a smaller size before. It's just too small for him now, so, but it's really good, so I got him the same. So 
two little caps for my boy. My daughter has plenty, so she didn't need anything. So yeah, two caps. And also for my son, we got these little trainers. How cute are they? They're so small. Um, these are his, I want to say, third or fourth pair of shoes in his life. Um, we literally just got him his first pair of sandals. I think I did, I did it in like a haul. Um, yeah, I think I did like a clothing haul and had them in them. So these are his first pair of trainers because his first two pairs of shoes were kind of like little winter boot kind of things. So these are just like the Keshwa, um, you see here, Keshwa trainers. And they're kind of the very simple, basic trainers for kids and for adults. They have adult versions too, but they're extremely practical and quite cheap. Um, my daughter has a pair every year, basically. Um, they do trainers, sandals and walking boots for all sizes, like kids and adults. And these are a size 25, um, so I guess in the UK. US that's 8.5C and 7.5C in the UK so like children's sizes and he's actually a 24-ish so we went for the 25 because they're quite they're quite like you know constricting so I figured the size up would be the best so yeah and he's really happy with them he thinks they're very cool and he wanted to wear them straight away. So, that's always a good sign. So yeah, so he has a pair of sandals for the sunny, sunny weather. And he has a pair of trainers for any time it's raining or a little bit chilly. So yeah. And I think we'll probably go down the same line um, as his sister and get him a pair every year. His sister for now... Every year she's had a pair of trainers and a pair of sandals from Decathlon, like the Quechua ones. Um, and I think he might go down the same way. These are really practical because they've got the, the Velcro, which is perfect for his age because he can do it himself. And then like this is just like bungee cord. So he doesn't have to tie any laces or anything. He couldn't do that. So he can actually put them on himself, which is cool for him. He likes stuff that he can do by himself so yeah so I think that's the only like clothing style things that we got the next thing that we got from Decathlon uses these so these are like little um, plastic balls with um, kind of the almost like one side of the velcro you know, the harder side of the Velcro strips around it. And that goes with like um, a huge, well, I say huge, it's going to look huge on camera, but it's not huge, huge. It's like the size of a very large pizza. And it's just this cool, like, I want to say dartboard, but it's not because it's not for darts. What would you call that if you're not using darts with it? Um, so this like um, target, I guess. And you just throw the ball at the target. And it's like um, fuzzy. So they'll stick. So we figured it would be a good starting point. Because we want, we're looking at the, you know, the bow and arrows with the, like, the arrows with the suckers on the, on the end. And then you get like the... The, the board, like the target board, that is like um, plastic, like very thick, like hard plastic, so they stick very well. We're looking at that, but I get we were thinking that that would be cool only for us and for our daughter, but not for our son, and it would probably make him a little, you know, a little cranky and a little jealous and kind of, you know, he just stand beside us going, oh, I want to do it too, you know. 
so we figured we'd try and escape that um, problem by getting something that he can also use and we can have fun with this too, it's fine just wait a few years for the for the bow and arrow type stuff so yeah, so we got just an extra pack so that we can have the two colours the whole two team kind of thing and uh, yeah, so we have extra orange ones so that was the game that we got from Decathlon you can see it's written Decathlon on the top and I think that cost about 10 euros in total I think it was 6 for the target and 4 for the extra um, throwing balls the caps were 5 each one was 4.50 and one was 5 I can't remember which order and the shoes, I'm going to say they were 10 euros. I don't remember exactly, but it was around 10 euros. So it was good. Very good deal. Okay. So the next shop was Jiffy, which is that whole like discount kind of everything jumbled up shop, toys and house stuff. And the first thing we got were these water guns. <laughs> They're kind of, they're probably not the best quality water guns but for what we're going to be doing, just like running around in the back garden it's going to be cool and there are four of them, four of us, so it's perfect um, My son played with a water gun for the first time last weekend at my sister-in-law's and he loved it He loves playing with water I was actually looking for one of those activity tables that you put water in, you know, for kids, like toddler size and they've got like little wheels that wheel around with the water or little cups and little, you know so I didn't find any, so I didn't get one but um, I would really like uh, that sort of thing for him because he loves playing with water but if you just give him a bowl of water he'll play with it for about five seconds and just like pour it out and come and get some more water so I want something that will like stay there for a while, you know but the, the water guns was just like a fun idea I don't know how much time we'll actually spend using them but I'll definitely get some fun out of them this summer basically just um, the little ducks that you fish <laughs> that you fish out of the water so um, what do they call it? Jeu de pêche au canard do we call it? duck fishing? I don't know what we call this fishing for ducks I don't feel like that's the name in English what do we call it? anyway, you know what it is Everybody knows what this is. At any carnival or fair, you have this. So I figured that these guys can go into the little swimming pool um, and he can do a little fishing. This is definitely the time that he's starting to hone his like um, skills, like his, his motricity skills, you know, like he's starting to get more and more precise with his actions. And I think that he could really get a kick out of this. It'd be cool. It's not the most beautiful set of um, fishing ducks, but I think they're pretty good. They're cute. They're colourful. I don't think they'll break straight away. <laughs> Maybe they'll last a few years. So I think they were only like three or four euros. So it's definitely worth it. So we have some simple yellow ones, little yellow ducks, then we have green, blue, pink and purple. So yellow, green, blue, pink and purple. So yeah. This will be fun. I think my daughter will enjoy this too. She's not too 
shouldn't buy just because we could make our own one very easily with what we already have at home is this kind of coconut shy thing it's like plastic cups with a few bean bags to throw at it and he's right we do have everything that we could use to make that you know like we've got plastic cups and things and we have juggling balls we could probably make our own but I just thought this would be cool because are specifically for that and we can use them outside it doesn't matter if they get dirty because we won't actually drink out of them you know that kind of thing so I was really like should I get them should I not and then I decided yeah because it would be cool to have just like a set really just like and have its own little box and just like that one's really just for outside you know that way we don't have to use drinking glasses or anything or throw away you know like the plastic um, not plastic like um, cardboard throw away glasses and stuff cups cardboard cups for like parties and stuff would be a waste because you can use them more than once or twice you know but yeah so this one I thought it's gonna be pretty cool and my son will definitely enjoy throwing things, making things fall. He loves that. He has like stacking blocks that he loves knocking down. He's not like super great for the stacking part. He would like someone else to stack them. Um, he can do it. He's just not got a lot of patience for stacking. He's more of a, a bulldozer, which is fine. I don't mind stacking them. <laughs> so yeah. So play out. What's it called in French? Chambule tout. So tout is everything in chambule. I guess it means like blow things over. Like so. There's some action shots of kids playing. <laughs> there we go. So yeah, this will be fun to you. I think the rest of the stuff that I have is not. Um, action, outside games or sports stuff. I think it's more like home stuff. This first one is very crinkly. Here we go. So these are bird feeding balls. They're extremely crinkly. So yeah, they are boule de graisse, which just basically means grease balls. <laughs> so they are um, just like balls to fill up our bird feeder. We have like a bird feeder with um, four um, encapsulated like ball parts that you just like replace with whatever, either like homemade ones or these guys, and it'll take shape it's like just like the general ball size is the same as like pretty much all of the ones that you can buy so we thought we'd grab these ones because they weren't too expensive it was my mother-in-law that gave us it as a present because my son loves birds he loves like well cats and birds anything that he can see in the garden he's like well a bird <gasps> so he's happy um oiseau is a bird is cat, obviously. But um, yeah, so he gets to see a lot more birds now. Thank you to my mother-in-law. I didn't think about it myself, so that was cool. Okay. The next thing I got was this set of two um, cups. Very bright and summery. A pink one and an orange one. Are kind of funny cups. They've got straws, but the straw is in, built into the cup. I've seen this before a few times, but I've never seen them sold anywhere. So they were pretty cheap, I think, like a euro or two. Um, doesn't say. So yeah, there's a hole in the straw at the bottom, so the kid 
can just drink and then they don't have to spill I guess I thought it would be cool just like my son is not great at drinking out of a cup yet like an open cup so I thought this might be a cool like in the middle kind of thing it's not a sippy cup but it's not like he has to pull the cup up to his mouth too much because it goes everywhere pretty much a little plastic so yeah, so these look pretty cool. I think the kids are going to think they're cool too. Bright coloured, kind of different. So I'm happy with that too. What else did I get? Another drinking thing, something to drink in, is a Harry Potter glow in the dark mug. <laughs> so I don't know how much use I'll get out of the glow in the dark part. I guess like when I'm having like a cup of, of herbal tea at night, maybe? <laughs> but I thought it was nice anyway, even without the glow-in-the-dark part. Otherwise I wouldn't have got it. It just says Lumos, which is the spell, like the word that you would use to light up your wand. Um, let's have a look at it, actually. I didn't open it. Love smug sounds. Loads of people. A bit. <laughs> These ones are for you, Stephanie. Because they're shallow, 
concealer. Sometimes I find them too chunky. I mean, obviously this was cheap because they're shallow, so that's good also. But um, sometimes they're too chunky for the holders and you can see them too much and it's less pretty. So I like the fact that these were shallow. Even if it'll give a shorter burn time, I don't mind. I don't even know how many there are. Let me turn it. Fifty. Cinquante bougies chauffe plat. So, 50 candles, and chauffe plat is like um, heat, heat like plate heaters. <laughs> I don't know why they call them that. Uh, 50 tea lights. Yeah. So, the last thing that I something that I've needed for a while, like a while, like maybe like a year, because um, I did have one ages ago, but it broke. And this is my new fruit bowl, <laughs> which you can't really see all of. The top is just above where <laughs> the camera stops. So I need a fruit bowl because I'm sick. I'm tired of all my fruit just laying out in the kitchen <laughs> like in the original packaging or just like the bananas just like lying there <laughs> so yeah I need a good fruit bowl and it's weird but I've seen a lot of fruit bowls in shops that I just didn't like I don't know I just wasn't pretty I was just like meh I don't know, or I couldn't see it cleaning easily, you know. But this one is very pretty. I like the fact that it's not, the, the lines are not straight, you know, it's going around. It's very pretty. I don't remember how much it was, maybe like 15 euros or something, so it wasn't too expensive. And it's just very pretty. So yeah, this is my fruit bowl. <laughs> I think it's very pretty. It'll be nice on my counter. So yeah, and that was, yep, it's the last thing in the bag. So that was actually quite a large haul, actually. I thought it was going to be smaller. Um, since everything was in one bag, it seemed like it would be a quicker video. sure that's okay with you guys. The longer the video is, the better. <laughs> so, I'm gonna leave it here for now. I hope you enjoyed it. I found it relaxing. The tapping and everything wasn't really there for this video, but the voice part hopefully was very relaxing for you. And the visual. You have a lovely evening and I'll see you.